The Starlight River mod just released its alpha June 3rd, and this mod is incredible. New bosses, weapons, armor, new structures in the world, mechanics like barrier, weapon combos, and more. This mod pack is just full of love, and we'll be jumping straight in. Hey, today we're checking out the highly anticipated, highly awaited Starlight River mod alpha. I'm going in blind, no idea really what to expect, but the start of the world is just like normal, so let's get set up with the basics. Wood, starter home, and a few chests for early loot and accessories. And I'll check back with you guys once I have something or notice anything different. Of course, I completely ignored the new stone and trees literally invisible sight. Blueberries. Oh wait, did enemies? What? Um, safe to say things are going to be exciting, at least at this point. Oh, starter chest. And it is just a heavy umbrella. Yo, demonic wand of sparking. Table. Chair. I said that in reverse order. Don't, don't worry about it. Workbench. Oh, I made it uneven. Ugh. Let's go grab some fallen stars and see how viable magic will be. As I was exploring around nighttime, I found this chest with a whetstone that increases all damage by 1% and climbing claws that have barrier? That is cool. Oh man, there's like a little aura around you now that you have a barrier. Here's a proper look at the barrier, essentially applying pre-mitigation resistance and slowly regenerating over time. The climbing crawls also increase on-ground acceleration, which will make getting around easier. I also found my first heart container, increasing my max HP from 100 to 120. Though, uh, it kind of looks a little weird because I have the barrier. The numbers don't quite line up correctly. Good old Hermes boots. Here's a structure I haven't seen. Shiny treasure, what the heck? And inside is a treasure chest with a pick two mechanic, allowing you to pick two of whatever you need. Anyways, yeah, we'll just be powering up, doing our loop of collecting stars at night, getting more chests, and mining during the morning. Though not without the usual mishap. Okay, this is probably not the best way to go, considering that thing is gonna kill me. Okay, yeah, um... I shouldn't have been scared of the cactus, man. I was scared of that. <laughs> so I just went into the settings and changed my health bar to classic and the barrier attacks finally looks good. Remember that this mod is literally still an alpha and there's been hot fixes almost every day since release, at least from when I'm playing this. Was there a shiny here? There is a shiny over there. Uncovering the shiny reveals an exotic geode, which looks like will make powerful early game armor and weapons. And overall, just having the shinies makes digging around 10 times more exciting. Hey, a chest! It is trapped. And not just one, but two traps. It is trapped. <laughs> I didn't know that these things did it then. Uh, it is certainly trapped. It did uncover a whole bunch of geodes, and inside the chest is an accessory for double jump. Alright, I've totally ignored it, but what the heck is this structure? Little boss arena or something? Um, it looks like it. These are combat shrines underground as unique structures. And with no armor, these enemies do a ton of damage. But it looks like this will be a good first goal for us to complete. As I was looking through the crafting recipe for upgrades... Cooking station? Oh my god, it's huge. Okay, so this is basically an added alternative to buff potions, with ingredients and seasonings found all around the world. I see a shiny, I get a shiny. This mod pack got me digging holes everywhere and I ain't even upset. And what the heck is that structure up there? Let's have my good friend of the channel, Sink, figure it out. What the hell are you? <laughs> oh, little fish man. It's like, uh, it's gonna point you towards something in the ground. <gasps> Have a good yeah, I, I I don't think it's happening today. <laughs> yeah, I All right, Sink, well, <laughs> I'm probably gonna get going. <laughs> no! Oh my god, you died. <laughs> so, let's see what's at the end of the rainbow. Whoa, 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 God, what is that? What is that thing? Um, <laughs> it's kind of looking at me funny. Be my guest, jump down there. Uh, I said you jump down there, not me. And down there is another one of those structures, with the pick two treasures like before. And the statue also does the same as before, leading me further down. Well, I don't want to spend all my time here, so I'm going to head back up for now, though we'll be back down there. Dungeon, ocean, shark pet. But yeah, I didn't see anything else, so I'm back here for more of the exotic geodes. I want to make the armor before I take on that combat shrine. Hey, wait, that's not... Perfectly generic. <gasps> Pet. 
Yo, little cube friend. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, back at home. Here's a full set of Geomancer. Kills and critical strikes with magic have a chance to drop magic gems, each gem with a different effect. Anyway, let's see if this is good enough to get us through the combat shrine. Mm, nope. I can make the geode bow, which I'll just let speak for itself. <laughs> so, let's try again. Um, now's not the time. Oh, so close. But also, I'm probably going to have an eye to fight, huh? Let's see if I can't do classic Eye of Cthulhu with just the bow. Oh my god, that was so easy. I'm way too used to the expert mode fight. Come on, just a little bit more. And there we go, with a couple of drops and the dull blade as loot. That shrine was a lot harder than I expected it to be, but that was fun. The sword turns into a summon weapon and a melee accessory, neither of which I have materials for, so that'll be a problem for a later no-go. And another mishap as I was making more NPC houses. Oh, but those are bombs. From a bomb factory. <laughs> Got myself equipped with a few bombs from the demolitionist to break some crimson orbs. Uh, oops, oops, oops. I was going to fall in the water. We got a musket and another magic weapon, Crimson Rod. Made my way over to the structure before I fell into the darkness. Point of light? A quick test stand. <laughs> a spear with a charge attack that leaves shining stars. All right, uh, welcome back to day two. Let's actually get in the world first. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Who? Who is this? Oh my god. D dialogue? There you are. I don't know why I gave the crow this voice. Yes, yes, my name is Alakan. Something lurks beneath the nearby desert. I think the voice I gave it changed, but also, whoa. Looks like Alakan just gave us an ability called Starsight that allows us to get more information about something we use it on. Before I was rudely interrupted, or I guess kindly interrupted, uh, welcome back, this is day two. Alicorn was just telling me about going to the desert to find a thing, but actually want to go finish off exploring the shrines in the snow biome. That's like a small gripe more than anything. Oh. <sighs> treasure. There we go. Blizzard in a bottle. Treasure. Book of Frost. And at the end of the rainbow is this. There's something. Sh oh. What? Okay, I'm gonna need blocks. Um, I guess do this challenge, which seems to be pretty simple. Whoa. Oh, that doesn't look like a friend. This is indeed a boss fight, it looks like. So I was stuck in here for a little bit before my buddy Nick finally let me know how to start the fight. Thank you very much to him. We just throw this item into the water and here's the first boss of the mod pack. Oh god, oh god, get me out of the water. The first phase is this tentacle attack. No, oh, what's happening now? Oh, water's filling up. Oh, like filling up a lot. Oh, you're... <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I knew, I knew that. This continues. Oh, it's filling up more. And this laser attack comes up. Uh, 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 place blocks, place blocks. I got it, I... And just remember, the water is poison. You know what, I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna get that. Oh, um, that might be a prop problem. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. I grabbed a ton of fossils in the desert, made the amber staff, and defeated the giant squid Auroracle. So you can already tell, this mod pack is awesome and it boasts a huge variety of content for early game. So please go try it yourself, it's a ton of fun. What I found really unique is that you can have different experiences based on where you decide to start exploring. In fact, my buddy Nick, aka Honeydust, oh, decided no. to focus his adventure in the snow biome. And I think these experiences are best shared, so that's exactly what we did. We hopped on a Discord call together and here's how it went. Oh, I'm getting called by Honeydust. Hello buddy. 
Hello, my friend. <laughs> that was such a weird greeting. Why did we do that? We Whoa. Like, Hello, my buddy. Uh, how's it going, buddy? I'm good. Just had some um, sushi for lunch. Sushi. Have you gotten to uh, Star Cider or whatever? No. Okay. Have you seen? Is he? He's not the glass weaver, is he? Uh, no. Okay. Do you know what the glass weaver is? No. There's a, a giant sword floating around. Okay. Outside. What? <laughs> that wasn't a giant sword. That was like a giant thing, like a banner wielding. No, no, no. The monster. So, like, you know how like Asia Slash is like a giant sword. Yes. It's like that, except it was like a floating banner thing, like a red floating banner thing. That's why I was confused whether it was a sword oh, or not. Okay. Um. Don't mind me. Yeah, don't mind <laughs> me either. I wanted to ask, have you found any, like, magic weapons? Uh, beyond my, uh, wand of sparking? Yeah, no. same for me. <laughs> I, am, I am so... I'm, like, trying so hard. I'm trying to do magic. Do you know what's silly? You same thing. Yeah, because I have the Geomancers. Yeah, me too. I did the Geomancer. Yo, Geomancer. It's kind of sick, the set. <laughs> with the, um... It has such high defense. I might just make, like, a... A diamond staff, probably. Gem one. Yeah, I think I can actually make one right now. I want to make one too. I I don't have a hook yet, dude. I got so lucky and found a bunch of diamonds, so I made a a, a diamond hook, and I still have enough to make a you... staff. Somebody lucky. Cheating. Uh, I might go make the um, uh, desert staff actually. Oh, ah, interesting. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> No, it's it's it'll be bleeped out. It's okay. <laughs> cut that out. Cut that out. Cut that out. Don't swear. Don't swear. <laughs> uh, as as the kids would say, poggers. They don't say that anymore, do they? I don't know. Do they say that? Comment if you say that. <laughs> do you know what I I gotta say? Uh, the biggest news flash for me in terms of like, oh man, I'm getting old. Sort of thing is like people think sheesh is like an old saying now. Oh man, that was like last year. That's old. I know. I love saying sheesh too. Sheesh is, sheesh sheesh is yeah, the greatest. A, sheesh is pretty good. No, no, no. I understand. I understand. I just. <laughs> no, you don't get it. You don't know. <laughs> no, no. I know. I know. I swear I'm cool. <laughs> no, no, no. Not the squid. The the worm. The worm. Oh, I only know about. I only know about the squid. Oh, you don't know. You don't know. He doesn't know. Oh, he doesn't know. Okay. Okay. Oh, what the heck? Why is this guy stuck? I have my glass weaver here, but he's stuck in the wall. Oh, you did find the glass weaver just uh, now. He's he's very very stuck. Oh, that's a problem. I cannot talk to him. Uh, he's. Oh god. Mine was a cool. And guy. I can't build on this terrain. Oh no. What am I gonna do? Oh, so let me let me explain explain to you what happened when I found the um squid room. Uh -huh. So I went in, in there, confused beyond all hell. I didn't have grappling hook or double jump at that point, mm -hmm. so I was stuck in the water. No double jump, oh I no. I couldn't even like get onto the platforms. I kept trying to go down there, like see if I missed anything, like two or three or more times. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then finally, like towards the end of my recording, was those suspicious looking things that I found, and I thought you could just use them like it was a Eye of Cthulhu thing. And then I read the item description, and I was like, using the prismatic waters to summon the one that the squidlet worship. And I'm like, right, right. I, you could hear the gears turning in my head. Yes, yes. And then I want to go summon it and died immediately because the water kills you. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yo, um, I just uh, picked up, and you know the glass yeah. weaver area. You can pick up the magmites with the uh, uh, net. I'm gonna try to do the glass weaver yeah, challenge. Yeah, good right luck. Now, I tried. <laughs> Oh my God! You know that little magma I was talking about? Uh, yeah. You could put him in a put him in a bottle. Do you know how much damage it does? Oh God, what? Fifty range damage, a hundred critical strike damage. What the hell? Um, would you like to hear a stupid question? Yeah, always. What is your favorite gem? First of all, that's a normal question. Uh, and then the stupid question is, uh, what is your favorite gem name? Well, favorite gem, I would go like emerald. Okay. Gem name, I really like sapphire. Ah. Uh... Probably. Oh, oh, okay, oh, yo, 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 oh, my goblin, my bound goblin is at one HP because I actually dropped a rock on his head. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that's not my fault. It, I didn't realize it was trapped. You menace. He was, he was sitting on top of the pressure plate. Nice. I'm making a little platform to fight I... a boss. <laughs> Dead man's okay? chest. Dead man's lava chest. Uh, Dead, man's Dead man's chest. chest. Explosion. Dead man going to the lava. The fire. Menacing. Sure. I love menacing. Menacing. <laughs> menacing.
I know. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong? What's wrong with my uh, pronunciation? <laughs> Nothing. We're fine. I'm gonna make. Well, actually. Oh, what's this? <sighs> Hold on, Nick. What? You you missed your opportunity to, to say, "Oh, well, what's this?" I'm sorry for I, all the people that hate it. Just cut it out. Yeah, cut it out, cut it out. Who else likes to stay in the jungle? I know Witch Doctor, but I don't have that one yet. Witch Doctor? Don't say the joke. I know you're talking. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fast. <laughs> you were still telling me oh not to God. say it. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go take a crack at doing the, the glass blower thing first, at least. Really? You're not going to do the squid first? Is that what I'm supposed to do? The squid... I'm going I've to the squid. Read. In fact, I'm going to the squid. Oh, oh, God. Um, Crimson is spreading quickly to my main house. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, uh, that's a... What size world did you make? Uh, small. Uh, that's why I made large. I always yeah, make yeah. large. You haven't finished squid. it yet. No, no, no. Okay, I'm going to the squid, man. I'm, I'm going to fight I now, and then I'm going to do squid right after. Or just try to oh. do squid. <laughs> I found the exact same spot I did just the beginning of the episode, which is... Well done. You know how you're supposed to throw the thing in the water? Yeah. How do you get another one? Uh, find them in chests. Oh. That's how I've gotten them. No, I, yeah. already, I actually went down here. Oh. Are you playing in, um... I'm only playing on a easy or whatever. Oh, I'm playing on expert. Yeah. Um, I will, I will go ahead and try and retry it, dude. I'm, I'm gonna bring potions. Oh. Potionies. Good luck. Thank you very much. Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you That's know the so he buffs. head smacaroni, man? I'm quite satisfied that they only do damage when um they actually hit you Sorry. with their head. What do you mean? The the head smacaroni, man. The uh, ice ice head smacaronis. The snoobells? Yes. Head smacaroni, man. <laughs> Am I wrong, though? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to do it. I think this is the funniest thing ever. Oh god, the camera? You're gonna turn into a Intro? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The intro. And I'm taking the damage while I'm in the water. Ooh, scary. I don't know why I'm adopting this voice. It, it, it is, that is not my identity. It can be, you know. I am the, the sword man. You're the me the only guy. I'm, I'm that guy. Uh oh, here's the final phase, I think. Oh jeez, yeah. I just I don't have yeah. something that can really hit him. Oh, he takes away platforms. Oh, fantastic. Oh gosh. No, 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 no. That's scary. That, those are my platforms, sweetie. You cannot take them away from me. Okay, oh 64 God. HP. Come on. Bo, make it. Yes. Got it. There we go. Oro raid, Oro raid, Oro raid. What raid has been defeated? Oracle. Summon damage. Ooh. Ooh, summons a throne combat mount? What? what? And also, throne combat mount? allows the execution of combos with broadswords? Right click to parry with the broadsword? Oh my god. There's like a little. You get. Oh. Man. What? I'm over here just trying to find another geode. I'm gonna fight it again, man. Do it. See if I care. <laughs> I bet you do. I do because I want to. I want that stuff. I know. I want to see what the expert mode drop is, if there is one. Oh, what the heck is this? Shiny sparkles. I don't see any. The Captain Sparkles. Captain Sparkles, the YouTuber. Yeah. The Minecraft YouTuber. No, the Terraria one. <laughs> I wish. He's probably made something on Terraria, right? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, as as every God willing man, uh, <laughs> he's probably played Terraria. <laughs> Dude, this this mount weapon thing is so sick. Me and my homies love the aquatic creatures. So true. Me. And it's dead. Uh, hello. What happened? Um, did you get the thing that said a strange traveler has arrived? No. The crow? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I have that. Oh, okay. I already had that. The crow-like creature gets up off the ground with a triumphant look in its beady eyes. Dusting um, itself off and straightening its Please, please, players. can you give it a voice? I gave mine a voice. <clears throat> there you are. I jumped through the 17 different axons <laughs> and half of the entire no, it's the same. <laughs> There you are. Okay, I'm back in the arena. Nice, good luck. Good luck, homie G. You've got it. Uh, have blocks on your uh, hotbar. Blocks? Why blocks? You can't. Blocks. You can't put anything in here. Put, put blocks on your hotbar. 
Okay. Thank me later. Thank me later. Blocks or platforms? Probably uh, platforms. Blocks. 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 Oh, okay. Actual blocks. Okay. Solid okay. blocks. The blocks. Okay. That, okay. That I got it. I got it. <laughs> Goldfish. Okay. Good luck, buddy. Buff. Um, you have to say something really cool before you start the fight. I'm gonna die. <laughs> You're the coolest. Metroidvania, not Megalovania. <laughs> Sends Undertale, looks at you, kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> the water's rising again? Yes. Oh my god, I only have like a few platforms now. Oh, I got him! Nice. Yeah! Well done. There's the bag. I hope you all enjoyed. If you want to see more content like this, feel free to check out my Melee Only Calamity series. Or you can go check out Nick's channel where we're trying to craft the Soul of Eternity, an item with an absurd number of crafting steps. Anyway, take care and have a good one.